it turns out that if you want to build a computer or a kind of network that uses the laws of quantum mechanics, which would allow you to build a more powerful computer for solving certain types of problems, it turns out quantum teleportation is one of the fundamental building blocks. And so I think when we look back at the history of you know building this new type of computer, this will be seen as a landmark. Is, is truly heroic, um, trying to put all the apparatus for actually sending this very fragile quantum information and actually you know, linking it between the Earth and, and the satellite and moving above in space. So this may be the future of super powerful computers or super encrypted communication. Um, you know that I'm a little bit focused on the teleportation idea. I mean, why not? What does it take to scale this up for the, for the sci-fi fantasy? If you can entangle photons, to communicate over great distances and teleport. Is teleporting me, a person, just really a, a scale-up question of trillions of photons that are entangled in the right way? It's even more complicated than that because you would have to capture all of the dynamics and the interactions between, it's not just a matter of teleporting a bunch of individual particles in your body one by one, but you have to know about all the relationships for how all those things are connected together. So maybe maybe in 500 years, people will look back and they'll have a way of moving small objects around, but I don't think that's anything on the near horizon. This is a, right now it's hard enough to do it just with a single particle. So what you're saying is I should still buy my plane ticket for my vacation in August. I think that's a wise decision. Christopher Shaw, Research Associate at the National Institutes of Standards and Technologies. Thank you so much. Thank you.